Welcome to an introduction to accounting and to a first course in spreadsheets. This shows the use of spreadsheets for accounting and this first podcast is going to be a very simple introduction. Why do we use spreadsheets? Well, we use them to calculate, we use them to analyze, we use them to manipulate data and we can use them to store data as well. In accounting, that means we can use them for budgeting, for making forecasts, for analysis of cash flow, for reconciliation work, and for analysis of revenues and costs. So, let's get started. We have a typical spreadsheet open. This is Microsoft Excel. And if we look across the top, we see that what we have is a particular type of menu consisting of lots and lots of different icons and that's referred to as a ribbon menu and if I go from one to the other you also see that you have different types of ribbon menu now we can alter this and use another form of menu but what we're going to do is stick with our ribbon menu and with this is going to be our start our home menu and our spreadsheet consists of cells. Here you can see I'm moving the cursor from cell to cell. So this cell has a reference of C, so it's column C, and 2, that's row 2. If we look here, what we can see is here's our reference for that. Here is our cell C2. So if you're not sure what cell you're in, if you're trying to reference one cell or another, just glance at the top. It can often make it much easier to see there. So that's a cell and a cell reference. The other references that we have are at the bottom here we have different sheets. We're currently on sheet 1. We could change to sheet 2 or sheet 3. Each of these sheets is a spreadsheet within a workbook and we can rename these sheets. Here we are. We can call this the starting sheet. Then when we click that's saved. I can make co copies of whole sheets. So for example if I click on move or copy I can make a copy of this and I can move it, which is the starting sheet, I can move it to the end and now you can see I have a starting sheet here and I have a copy of that sheet here as well. Let's go back to our first sheet and we'll insert some simple data. I'm just going to insert some letters. And the purpose of this is to show you how we can move things around. If I click on one of the columns right at the top, you can see one of the options is to insert. So how do I know where I've inserted? Well, if I insert a column, what I can see is I now have two columns before the column where I had my letters. So if I've inserted a column, it's going to the left of the original column. That's worth remembering. And similarly, if I take a row here and I'm going to insert another row. Remember, I'm on C at the moment. So I'm going to insert here and this goes above, right? So I can insert ro columns to the left and I can insert rows above. So that is how our spreadsheet is going to work. Let's just eliminate these. We select them all and we can enter data of various forms. So let's just enter some numbers. This one we didn't enter a number, so I pressed the shift key and I shouldn't have. And then the question is, how should I treat those? Well, if I select those, to select them by the way, I place the cursor there, right? I hold down the left mouse button and I just drag until they're all selected. Now with the right button, I press on the right button, I'll click the right button and I can format those cells. I can treat them as general, I can treat them as numbers, I can treat them as currency, I can use them for accounting, or I can use them for text. 
in this case we're going to use them as number and I can specify the number of decimal places that I have so I'm going to click on OK and you'll see it's made all of those to have two decimal places so that's how to enter data of different types very briefly and quickly then just to finish we, we enter a formula so what I'm going to do is put in a formula and to enter any formula it always must begin with an equal sign this tells the program that I'm about to enter a formula now if I want to multiply two of these cells together let's say I want to multiply this cell I just click on it and then to multiply it's the asterisk and I click on the cell I want to multiply it by so I want to multiply B8 by B7 and then if I press enter you'll see it it's done that it has multiplied those two cells together if I go back and click on that cell where I've got my 12 I can see that the formula that I entered is illustrated here and the cell reference remember it was C8 column C row 8 columns before rows okay so that's a very simple introduction to some of the first work that you'll do on the spreadsheets. Thank you.